going right now. And now let's meet your own Lincoln Way Central Knights. Number two, Joey Klein. Number six, Mitch Severson. Number eight, Kyle Trost. Number 10, Tyler Dundek. Number 12, Jake DeMazo. Number 15, Lars Torkelson. Number four, Adam Sargis. Number five, and the captain, Matt Clark. Number seven, the libero, Jake Sapoviak. Number nine, Eric LeBeau. Number 11, Sam Beckman. Number 13, Matt Nawa. And number 14, Austin Overby. The Knights are coached by Brian Danielson, Adam Seeger, and Kathy Sapkowski. The managers are Justin Reed, Amanda Dolan, and Caitlin Sidek. The officials for tonight's contest are Pam Campbell and Carrie Currier. Kara Currier. The Illinois High School Association registers the officials. Their experience and integrity qualify them to administer the rules of this match. We hope you enjoy the match and support the athletes in a positive, sportsmanlike manner. And now, if everyone would please rise for the national anthem. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Lincoln White Center on this fabulous Monday night in May. CJ Ponton along here with Andrew Fig. And Andrew, what are the keys to the game? Well, Lincoln West is a very scrappy team. They're going to have to not let balls drop when they come over on free balls and just get their hits over the net, don't make silly errors, get their passes to target so Clark can get a good set to one of our hitters. All right, sounds good. And now we're going to take you to the action down on the floor. Starters for the Lincoln Way Central Knights are Adam Sargis, Mar Matt Clark, Jacob Sabkoviak, Sob Sam Beckman, Matt Na Nawa, <laughs> and Austin Overby. 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 <laughs> a little trouble with the names here. <laughs> Just a little. Also, Eric LeBeau will be coming in to serve at certain points in the game. He will be an alternative server. <laughs> Here we go. The first serve of the game is up and an illegal hit. <laughs> uh, that was actually a lift call. All right, so here's number two, second serve of the game. Oh, nice, nice dig set. by Sikovic. It seems as though one of the Warriors players was in the net, so that's a point for Central. All right, so two nothing in the early going for the Knights. Serving up number five, Matt Clark, is he hits it over. Oh, well, that's close as to a block right there. Eric LeBeau gets 
and used like a tool. Ball is up right there, trying to get over the net. Good save right there, tried to block. Good block by number 14 right there for Lincoln Way Central. Nice Austin Overby. That was a nice hit by Matt Nowa too, right down the line. Put in a great spot. There's Overby serving, that's just power right there. No one can get to it for the Warriors. And the Knights take a commanding 4-1 lead in the early going here. Substitution for the Warriors, one for 15. Oh. No one was there for the Warriors. Ball just dropped right in between two guys. And when you look at this Knights team right here, you see a lot of height, but also just a great teamwork. It's great. That is true. So for the Knights, Brian Danielson is the head coach. Many of these guys have been playing together too. There are only two juniors on the floor right now. It's not what gets a kill. And so these guys have a lot of experience playing together, so I'm sure they've molded very well over the years. Also, uh, assistant coaches are Adam Seeger and also Mrs. Solkowski, who is a reading seminar teacher at our school. Another great serve by Overby. Oh, nice block. Oh. That's going to be out of bounds. Seven time out by West. Time out. So 7-1 here at a timeout by the Warriors. And uh, Fig, what have you seen so far breaking down the game? Well, great passes so far, great hits, good serves. Warriors need to step it up if they want to get a chance here. All right, and I agree. Even though I'm not a big, I'm not big into volleyball, uh, I still like commentating, commentating all kinds of sports. Big sports fan, no matter what sport it is. But uh, you seem to know a lot of volleyball, so you, pl you play yeah. for the uh, sophomore. Knights, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, we're 12 and seven. We just beat West 25 to nine and 25 to 11. All right. And we have pretty good hitters. We're basically a good all-around team. Good save right there. It's Unfortunately, it was a little too hard there by Overby, and now I can't get to it. All right, so the Knights still take a 7-2 lead here in the early going in the uh, first match. Correct, it's called a match. Yes. It's three matches in a game, or is it three games in a match? It's three matches in a set. Oh, three matches in a set, so I wasn't even close. Sorry, <laughs> right, don't play. It's basically three games in a match. We just call them differently because we're three games in a set. Scott Preece has a good point. Back to back miss serves. We have a waiver for you to sign right over here. <laughs> Also joining Pass us today, hard. Sarah's a and great block. Sam Beckman gets housed. Looking like Makami Matumbo there, not in my house. No, no, no. <laughs> Big by Sargis, goes for the Sargis, hit. Sargis, nice. And it's close, it's but it's going to belong to the Knights right there. Good teamwork. Also up here in the booth is Scott Freeze, a member of the Lincoln Way Central sophomore volleyball team. Yes. I'm the greatest player. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Nowell with the jump serve. Oh, Ooh, nice reaction by Sokoviak. No, that is a nice recovery, though. Nice block right there. That so may have four been four hits. Sarge is on the play. It's going to be free hit ball. over. They have to utilize this free ball. Sets it up for Sarge's. Boom! Nice spike right there by Adam Sargis. There was no one there. Number 18 for the Warriors did Downtown, not close that no block. That's right too there. easy. Not closing your block is basically giving the other team a kill every time. 
There's number 13 for the Knights, Matt Nawa. And an overpass, although Sarge just can't put it away. Nice close. It's going to belong to the Warriors, trying to block it with number 11, Sam Beckman. And it looked like it was maybe Severson on that, but uh, just couldn't get that. Beckman was a little late on that jump, so he got too old. He didn't turn the sands into the court. Oh, Sargis looks like he tried spiking it there, got tipped, but it's still in play. There's Severson. With the dig. Sets it up to Overby. Back. Overby can't hit it from back row. Nice block. Ooh. And it's a two. Well, I think they, if they would have closed in on the net a little more there, I think they would have had uh, the advantage because it looked like all the Warriors players yeah. were shifted to the right side of the floor. That sharp cr cross shot is very useful when you're getting your line blocked. No doubt. There's Sargis again. Nice tip over. Still going to stay in play. And just like Ooh. that, that 7-2 lead is gone. Now it's 10-7 only. It looks like Danielson is going to go to his bench right now. He's looking down the line. Knights look a little exhausted out there. Had a 7-1 to one lead at one point. Now it's all of a sudden it's a 10-7. Oh, nice Matt right Clark. There. Tricky, tricky. And then the hit out of bounds after the great scrappy play by the Warriors. Here's Sarge just serving it up. And he's serving it in the night. The bottom of the net. 11 to 8. Knights still lead here in the early going. And it's out of bounds. That's Smart play by Severson. As LeBeau checks in for Sam Beckman. <clears throat> here goes Jake Sipkowiak with the serve. Nice play right there. Sets it up for Overby. Smooth as silk on that hit right there. Came off the fingertips and just man, power over man right there. Overby is an amazing hitter. He chooses great shots based on where the block is set up. Very, very seldom does he get blocked. It's a nice block by Overby right there. Another time out by the Warriors. There's a little run spiked here by the Knights. And that's our own Scott Prees up here. We have... <laughs> and we are back up here. Me, CJ Ponson, Andrew Fig, and Scott Prees up here in the booth. Those are the ones sent to me. So here so we go. serve. Knights get it over. Ooh, and he is close. blocked. Oh, Overby, great right. selection you know, that, on the shot there. That's just a there. great play right there by Austin Overby. First of all, the block, nice save by the Warriors, and then comes right back with the power to get that spike in, or as they call it, a kill. So Kovac has a nice little serve run going here. Oh, nah, nice, nice by, save by Severson right there. Nice Sets it up to Overby. Nope. Strong hit gets nice block by And Overby. a joust by and Overby. Results in a lift by number 18 for the Warriors. Point 16 Central. to 8. So Knights double the Warriors lead right now. Uh, that may have been a lift there. Ooh. 
And number 15 hits the net as he goes to spike the ball. I think that might ball. be his second today. For what? For under, uh, for hitting the net. Oh, yeah. It's hard call to have go figure. against you. I do agree. Oh, oh, nice block. Austin Overby. It looked like on that was also... Uh, no mercy shown by the Overmeister. No soup for you right there. Looks like Eric LeBeau was Not on that house. block with Overby. Go, go home. Sit. She had a tear on that one tonight. Oh, oh man. Overby, three it's blocks a block in a party row. party out there. Everyone's getting rejected by Overby. Man. Welcome to my block party. You just got the Evite. Oh, man. Mercy. No soup for you, not in my house. Oh, nice, oh, nice right dig there. there. Sarge is And Sarge just can't put it away. Jump serve. Oh. Dug by Sarges. Can't Save. get it to the center, though. Oh, Overby. Overby is just in the major. Oh, area. nice block. Number that looked, nine, Eric LeBeau. That looked a little bit like tape there, though. I'm not entirely sure. LeBeau may have gotten a hand on that one. Yeah, it was very close. Very, very close. <laughs> and the lift on... I didn't see who it was. It may have been Jake Sapkowiak. It was close. All I heard after that was from the Warriors. Hey, ole, 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 ole. <laughs> Number nine. So again, the lead is doubled. Only need That's five points up. to put the first game away. Over. Nope, not over B this and time. Now it gets number 13, out. Matt Nawa. Is that how you say his name? Yes. Nara? Nawa. Nawa. All right, Nawa. Met nowadays. <laughs> Living in the oh. present. Ooh. Oh. Looks like Overby might have gotten I'm not sure that. what happened there. There we go. Overby snuck around from the right side. Refs were confused about what was going on. Oh, that's whoop. And it hits the ceiling on the dig by number nine, so it goes out of play. Again, the lead is still double. This 22 lead 11. Whoop. Oh, nice Severson. Oh, that chicken oh, wing by Nawa. Oh. oh. Soft hands. Wexter tried to pancake that one. It was going to the ground. He couldn't quite get to it in time. Big man, soft hands. Austin Overby. He does have pretty big hands. Look at those things. Soft as silk. Sets it up for the Warriors. Oh, close block right there. That clock there, right, right there. Oh. Couldn't get the dig off of the joust. Right there, Matt Clark, number five. Now, great great save, and then couldn't get the block, and it was all up to Clark. He was on his knees, tried to get do the best he could to get up, but he just couldn't. Oh, the ball almost puts it away. Oh. I don't know. That's got to be close. Honestly, that almost looked like a, uh, what do you call it? Pancake. Pancake. When they jump, a pancake is when the ball is going towards the ground, you flatten out, put your hand on the ground, and the ball bounces off your hand. All right, it sounds good Ooh. right there. Sand is just a flat hit by number four. Adam Sargis came up a little short there. Knight needs, Knights need two more points to advance on the match two with a W. That's going to be close. Nope, not even close. That was a mile that away from the line. Way outside the antenna. Not even close. Say the line was Illinois, that was like California. It wasn't even close. That was rough, CJ Pantan. That was very rough. Eric LeBeau with a nice serve. Oh, nice block. Block party. Everyone's invited. And a free ball Warriors. right over. Sets it up to Sargis. And he gets housed. Looks like the Warriors starting to put on a little block party of their own. 
Uh, they're going to need one heck of a run if they want to pull out with this one. Block party. You can go to the story all you want, but there's no soup for anyone. <laughs> and that hits the ground. Looks like the Knights are going to win it. 25-15, they take the That's first set. the end of the first game. First game, excuse me. Take the first game, 25-15. So a good W for the Knights there. And what, what were some of the things that you need to see from the Knights to maybe uh, make it sort of a more, not blowout, but make it a little more gap, spacious room between They the need scores. to be ready for those tips because Wes can hit. And when they aren't hitting, they're going to tip it short. And they're, expe they're deep expecting the hits. And they're on their lines. And if they tip it, they have to run 15, maybe 20 feet to get to the ball. And by the time they get there, it's either on the ground or it's a crazy try and get it over play. I feel you. And you know what? Now, we talked about Lincoln Way Central. What does Kenton Lincoln Way West do to improve? Because they look like they're just hanging in there by a thread, even though they lost by 10 that last uh, game. Well, they need to get their passes to their setter because they lost about easily seven or eight points on overpasses that went out of bounds. I mean, they do that, the game's in their favor right now. Well, honestly, one of the things you might see West do the second game is start double teaming that block. Look like they tried to do a lot of those single blocks, especially on Austin Overby. Well, and that's see, that's not their fault. That's all the middle's fault. If the middle doesn't roll rotate over on that block, that's his fault for biting for the faked middle attack or just being lazy not going over there. If they really want to block over B, they they'll tell their middle to get his butt over there or bring a triple block. All right, sounds good. We still got a, about a little over a minute left here before uh, we get going. And uh, well, this place is uh, jumping, as you can see. Yes, we have a good four people standing currently in the stands. <laughs> oh, make it five. <laughs> well, speaking of pumped up, this place is going to be pumped next week. And it could be an, um, actually a potential first round matchup between the Knights and the Warriors next Tuesday as the first round of the playoffs is going to be here for yes. the records. Yes, they oh. are playing Warriors in sectionals in the first round next week. It's going to be a rematch and Warriors are going to be looking for revenge. Let's see if Knights can keep their strength up. Well, we saw how far the girls went in yeah. the fall with volleyball. They went all the way to sectionals and just had a rough start. They, they were very close to state and just unfortunately couldn't finish that uh, dream team run, but were they close? That's just a heartbreaker too, especially when you're going as far as the Lady Knights did. Yeah, they were ultimately done in by Marist, who was one of the top teams in the state. But they played them good. Especially uh, one huge upset. They had to go to North for the, uh, what was that, conference? Uh, no, I think that was sectionals, too. Or regional. Regionals or regionals. sectionals? Yes, one one of the two. Regionals. Yeah, it was regionals, where they had to go to Lincoln White North to win regionals, and they pulled that out on a huge play. As you know, the assistant coach for the Knights Varsity Volleyball team, uh, Mrs. Solkowski, is the head coach for girls varsity uh, volleyball. Yes, that's true. She's also the boys sophomore coach this year. Yes. As right there on that last play, if you did not catch it, ball went to uh, Austin Overby. And like we said, you got to get over and maybe try to double team that block. And they did right there as the Warriors got that point. That's how you're supposed to block. You're supposed to have two people on every block. Oh, it looks like o Overby got most of that. Oh. Man, that's Overby hit call. the net as he went up. Not liking that rule. That's the one rule that's different in state play that it's in, in uh, club play. In club, if you jump up and hit the bottom of the net, they won't call you. But in ISHA, they will. IHSA, excuse me. It's all right. I, I've messed that up before, too. You're good. Make way West, 3-1 lead right now. Knights need to step up their game. They beat them last game playing a little lazy here to begin with. 
A little shaky for the Knights to start off, but uh, I think they're going to regroup here. Sets it up. Oh, there's Overby. Overby puts it down hard. That's what he does. That's what he does. The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Scalabrini. <laughs> oh, Austin Overby. <laughs> I like that. Instead of Scalabrini, Austin Overby. <laughs> oh. Oh, and oh, overpass nice what looked right like there. to that be was, a... Uh, who was it? That's Nawa. That nowadays. Looking into that the present and future. That was a routine pass, and number four should have gotten right to Webster, but instead he got over and... You better watch out. Nowadays he's, he's around. And bigger than ever. I appreciate that you're trying to be like Stacey King right now, but it's just not <laughs> working. Oh... Uh. That serve goes out of bounds now, so it's a tie game once again. Sets it up. Up. Ooh. The block on Eric LeBeau right there. LeBeau gets too old on that block there. Sets it up. And now I cannot get that ball over the net. Six to four, Lincoln Way West leads right now. Whoop, Sargis, no. Nope. Sargis has to reach behind him to get that ball. He overran a little. You see right there, Austin Overby's got to get over there. You know, he's playing the back, you know, waiting for that. Uh, as, I don't know if you guys call this anymore, but uh, bump set spike. I don't know if you guys use that terminology yeah, anymore. Yeah, bump set but spike. But Overby's got to get over there noticing. You know, some of those guys, especially Sargis, who's usually back there. Sometimes you got Severson. Yeah. Sometimes it happens so fast, you don't even know what's going on. One second the ball's over, the next second it's hitting your fellow teammate in the face. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> Seven to five, Warriors lead. Beautiful serve there. Sets it up. Oh! oh. Now it didn't turn his, now. Did now not a. turn his hands into the court that time, resulting in a tool. Sargis. And that call on the Warriors, so point for Lincoln oh, Way Sargis. Central. Look at those shoes Matt Nowa has, those are beautiful. Sets it up. And that goes out and of bounds. Gets it. That was close. That, that, that was very close right there. That could have gone either way, just depending on the uh, ref's description and discrepancy. Oh, beautiful serve there by Na Nawa. Oh, that was way behind that antenna. Way behind him. Knotted up at eight. Oh, Ooh. beautiful serve. That's just malicious. They have nothing to, to do to stop now or right now. They just need to keep that platform high, get to Webster so we can set the sitters. Oh, that's way up in the rafters. Lack no of communication there by the Warriors. 10 to eight. Lincoln Way Central Knights. I'm sure the Warriors are gonna be looking for a timeout soon if this play continues by their defense. Like I said, you know, the Knights started out shaky, but, you know, they composed themselves. And they're up by two. Another over. Set overpass. Up. Sets it up to Sargis. Oh, two lifts in a row there. And a sub. Number 15 coming in for the Knights. Mr. Headband. The Warriors, you mean. The Warrior. <laughs> He's the warrior. He's got the Viking hair going on. Viking hair with the headband. 
No one there. Matt, and now a timeout. Uh, forces a timeout for the Warriors. Give them the hot sauce. Because they're on fire right now. Give them the hot sauce. 12 8 Knights. You're right, they have stepped it up. It's great observation. Right now the Knights are on Flego. In case no one knows it, that means oh, they're Flago. on fire. On Flego, on fire. Picking up where they left off in the first game. As they suddenly stopped the music. Sure that shook for you into some people. Not quite sure what's going on. <laughs> No, imagine, now, if they, uh, what, imagine if they played the music during the game. How much that would be great. Get people going. Yeah. It's provocative. <laughs> Get some people going. And right at the climax of the song, something amazing happens. As the Warriors finally get something going there. Killed by number 18. Not quite sure that's what he wanted to do with it. He just hit it with his fingertips in the corner. Looked like he wanted to more fall out smack there. Well, the Warriors right there, honestly... They just they just left Illinois. They they, they went to go uh, start getting warm. They they went tan. They wanted to get to Florida, get warm, get on fire. It's a little tip. Doesn't put enough uh, muscle into that one. Gives the Knights a point. Should have been a back row attack call too. Foot was on that ten foot line. That means you can't jump if you're a back row player. So Sarge just looking up. Hits it across. That ball is up. Out, try to Free save ball it. coming over. Here's headband who hits it back. Oh, nice! Oh, nice tip! Oh, good save right there. Gets it oh, over. B. It's in. Nice use of the corner right there. Corner out of yeah. where it's close to being out of bounds. Corners are open here on the Warriors side of the floor. They should look to hit there a little more often. And as long as over B's been playing, he's utilized that serve. Has worked with it. It's kind of like basketball, you know, you get into that shot formation and you just yeah. kind of know, like, it, as soon as it, you release it, is it going in, is it not going in? So. Well, for me, I know it's always going in. <laughs> it does jump. Sets it over. up. Oh, nice. oh, look at that. 15 just gave up on that one. He was right there and let it drop. Headband couldn't get to it. It's number 15 down there for the Lincoln Way West Warriors with the long hair. I start calling him headband because that is a sick headband he's got on. He's got that LBJ look going. <laughs> LBJ. Oh, look at that power right there. Sounded like he jammed his finger on that one. Headband with a strong move. Sets it up. Back up. Oh, LeBeau with the oh, 31 nice. hit. Oh. oh okay, Severson's there. Oh. LeBeau's got to get out of the way there. He can't just keep backpedaling the way the ball is going. He's got to scoot back well, behind that tempo line. got a cookie right there and just missed it. Honestly, you got to make that play. Set it up to Overbay or Sargis. There's Overbay. There we go. It's going to hurt someone one of these days. Power and accuracy. No, no doubt about it. Oh, it's going to belong to the Knights. Smart play right there by the Knights. It was very close. Luckily, Matt Clark was there to call it out, or someone might have tried to get that one. It was very close. Oh. oh, Sargis. That was a miracle play right there. Don't know how quite how they quite got that one over. Yeah, no, Sargis didn't get it right there. That was a great hustle. Tony Pafero. Sets it up. Over B. 
And he tries Locked. to hit that cross, but he hits it in the net. Sets it up. Oh, another block right there on Overby. Well, number four, gotta start getting these hits over. And all of a sudden now, the Knights only lead by two. Sets it up, sets it up to Sargis, just kind of taps it over. Sets it over for the Warriors. That might have been tipped, and yeah, it's yes. going in the Knights. His number four brings the net down with him. Here comes number eight. In for headband. Oh, oh, wow. That ball bounced on the net a good three times before it fell off, and it's yeah. going to belong to the Knights. Hit it on the right side, roll all the way across, and hit the antenna. You know, that's one of those plays, like, what are the chances of that happening, bouncing three times? That's just incredible. There's out of bounds right there. You'd be surprised as it happens quite often. And a timeout by the Warriors. Here we go. All right, so what have you seen from the Warriors and the Knights so far? Some well, good things, bad things, pros, cons, what up? Warriors started off good, and then the Knights started off pretty bad, and then the Knights stepped up their game, and the Warriors didn't know how to handle it, so that's why they're down by five here with five points left for the Knights to pull out a W. Sounds good. 2015, Knights lead. So the Knights five points away from getting another W here. And give the Knights the full W. Sets it up. Oh, oh, nice. Oh. The Sarge the Sarge could not finish on that play. Sarge just sounded like the seagull from Finding Nemo. Mine, 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 mine. Well, that's mine. what you're supposed to do because if you don't call that it, was then a good call by Sarge, though. And unfortunately, it came up a little short, but you know. Anything goes. Oh, nice tap right there. Taps it over. Ooh. As number 16 puts it down there. Ah, that was that was a lucky call going that way for a nice. That would that one looked in to me. What do you think, CJ? I don't know. Weren't quite paying attention there. <laughs> Actually, that was not. I have my head in the clouds right here. Actually, uh, checking when the uh, Bulls come on tonight. As a reminder, uh, tonight it's six o'clock p.m. Central Time, seven Eastern. Bulls face the Miami Heat trying to even up the series at two. So tune in to TNT for that game. Whoa, is that ball is in now the crowd. Gets kill. And what do you think? You think think Rose is going to come back at all this year? Yeah, I doubt it. Yeah. Yeah, he's been trying to get people's hopes up with all the tweets and Facebook statuses. I don't think he's come back. Also, another two out tonight is uh, Dang, well, Dang with that spinal tap in. Kirk Heinrich, Captain Kirk with the knee injury. So Nate Robinson and Bellinelli, Jimmy Buckets are going to have to step up. Yeah. They got done in Miami. I'm not sure why they can't get it done in Chicago. Well, the last game was, last two games were very physical, and I think the Bulls have looked over many tapes. They got these couple days off here, and I think they've uh, learned what to do to adjust to Miami's game plan. 
That's a great observation there, CJ. Yep, especially uh, one guy who's really hurting them was uh, Norris Cole putting up points. Yeah. He's probably one of the biggest factors why they lost that game. So one, one point away here for the Knights to take Eric, home the W. Eric Lebo going for here the Serbo. Go. Lebo, no pressure here, puts it over. It's, it's going to be close. Nice. And, and that is out. ball game. The Knights are going to take it in two. 25, 15, and 25 to 17. So great all-out effort by the Knights. Any con any uh, contributions, Fig? Anything you got to say about the uh, performance oh, tonight? Lars Torkelson, he's the MVP. Although he was on the bench the entire time, <laughs> he's the MVP. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for joining us uh, for the Lincoln Way Central Knights versus the Lincoln Way West Warriors game. I'm CJ Ponton. This is Andrew Pigluski. Signing off. Good night.